Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Dead Aim. When we last left off, we kind of picked on the slow kid, killed Pluto, which was uh, absolutely hilarious. It's probably the funniest boss fight in Resident Evil to date. And uh, we escaped further down into the laboratory. Now we're playing as Fong Ling again. So, oh, we have no map this place either oh well I mean you know maybe nope okay I thought there might be a map in here I guess not anyway right let's grab up some bullets I suppose uh, how many bullets yeah that'll do us so we can take anyway so I guess it's gonna have to do us right let's hit up the save I hope we don't get timed a rating at the end of this for a, for a, the time that we spent playing this because I've spent an, an awful lot of this game um, with it just chilling on the pause screen. Ah, we really are kind of getting quite far into it now. Ah, I remember that. Just open enough. Oh, hang on. Okay, I thought we had to put an item in there, but I guess the item that we had to put in there is ourselves. So, that's cool. Um, right, what's through here? It's locked. There's a keycard slot here. Well, I guess we're going down the chute. Good thing we're a small Asian lady, and we can fit down. Hmm. Although I'm not sure that Fong Ling wants to be laundered. A hot shower. Probably a nice, uh, good idea. The other side... Wait, what? It appears to be held on the other side with some kind of chain. How do you know that, Fong? How do you know there's a chain on the other side? Uh-oh. Well, I guess he's down. Possibly out. We have some buttons to fiddle with. Hopefully we can sort out some power. This appears to be a terminal for controlling the power supply within the facility. A message pops up. Currently running on emergency power... Press the restore key to return main power. Uh, emergency power mode off. Well, um, that was surprisingly easy. Dude, hello. Oh, God, you got a bit of a wiggle on, haven't you, matey? Jesus. Calm down. I appreciate this is probably the first time you've seen a lady for a while. But, dude. Exercise some decorum. Right. Let's take his leg out. I mean, in all fairness, we probably don't have to kill this gentleman at all, but fuck that guy. He took a chunk out of our ass. Right, so that's chained up, and I very much doubt we can go back up there, but we don't need to, because lo and behold, we have power. At least we've got our arm nicely bandaged. Would have been nice to see a, a green herb wrapped around her arm instead of a bandage, but hey, I guess we can't all choose. Uh, I think something's behind you, Fong. Oh. Looks like our friend Morpheus is back in action. Come on, buddy. Stumble your ass out of this place. God, your face. Your face looks wrong. The animation is weird. I mean, I guess if you played this back in 2003 or 2002, whenever the hell it was, uh, it was probably quite... Oh, good. Good. I'm not buying it. Alright, fine. Fine, I guess he's down. Ooh, I don't mind if I take that. Stuff that in our pocket. Right, well, oh dear. No, we've got zombies. Oh, zombies are fine. Put one in the back of her head. 
Can we shoot through here? Got three bullets left in this gun. And I'm still blown away. I keep forgetting. We can actually move. We can move. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Uh, that's fine. Uh, nah. Get back. You sack of shit. There we go. Right, what have we got here then? There's a memo folded into the map. Well, I mean, at least we've got a map. We've completed construction on the missile base. I assume that HQ doesn't know that the facility is operating and is under Morpheus's control. Furthermore, even though I am only an architect, I am concerned about how this facility will be used. Morpheus tends to go too far after the raccoon incident. Right, we've got ourselves a map, which is nice. And we got some medicine, I guess. I mean, sure, why not? Definitely want some frickin' bullets. Uh, yes. Alright, not bad. You know, ammo for other weapons like the shotgun um, seem to be very rare. Oh, nice. Ooh, hello. Uh, Pod Bay keycard. Yeah, sure. So, how... Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. What are we like ammo-wise now? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Let's switch up to the science handgun. Science handgun absolutely has a place. Right, so we've got that, which I'm guessing is the key card that we need. Uh, let's not change floors just yet. All right. Uh, chain has been tightly wrapped around the door handle. There's a strange symbol on the lock. Yeah, you know what will get that lock off? A bullet, most likely. I'm just saying, okay. Voice recognition device. The lock on this door is probably key to the admin's voice. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Any change of clothes in here? No. Well, I guess we're going down then. Uh, let's try second floor first. Seems logical, you know. Floor two. Ah, yes. We've definitely been here with uh, young Fong. Ah, nice. Sure, we'll have it. Let's have a look on the map. Right, so 2B01. You've got the elevator there, and you've got some more rooms over there. Mm-hmm, okay. Oh, I see dead people. Lots of dead people, apparently. There's a document laying atop a chair. Orders from Morpheus. I have arrived and I have begun the plan. I need you to make sure all of the instrument panels work properly. The facility is on strict alert and you will need to input my voice to the voice recognition panel at the entrance of the clean room in order to enter the research area and check the instrument panels. I have sent an email containing my voice. You can receive it on a terminal in the residence area. Be sure to delete the email after your work is complete and remember to keep this confidential. Morpheus. Yes, well, they failed at keeping that quiet. What's that? Is that something on the floor? No. And again, what is it with all these dirty-ass bathtubs? I mean, come on, guys. Can't search up anything in there. Okay, so there's loads of dead people on the floor, but they don't seem to be too bothered about what's going on. That's cool. So, we need a sample of Morpheus's voice. Which we, as of yet, don't have. Hmm. Let's go right round the ring. See if there's anything hidden. Although, if we've got any ammo or anything hidden, we can't pick it up. This is definitely the better of all of the light gun games. Or light gun style games, I guess, that they've made from Resident Evil. This one isn't a terrible effort. Ah, god damn it. Look. 
We've got shotgun shells. Which is cool. I like shotgun shells. I do. But... Seems to be a report of some kind. Actually, the shotgun kind of lacks pop in this game. Ooh, halberd. A being that is that has an external skeleton of a horseshoe crab and the survival power of a cockroach. We have confirmed that its ecology is similar to ants and or bees, which have been known to work in groups. Ooh. All right. He sounds juicy. I'm guessing we can't pick up any shotgun shells. Uh, I mean, we'll be wasting eight if we pick those up. Can't reload the shotgun. Wide area attack weapon is most effective at close range. Yeah. I mean, do we really need three handguns in this game? I mean, I guess... If there's one silver lining to having three handguns, at least you can uh, load each one of them up and hold more bullets. Come on, my dude. Actually, let's just burn through some shotgun shells. Come on, my dude. Dude. When I said burn through some shotgun shells, I didn't mean waste them. Really? There we go. He's had enough. Alright, so we've got a computer on there that we can fiddle with. We've got a phone. Anything in the bathroom? No. Not really a lot to find in the environments, is there? Seems to be a new mail. There's a mail from Morpheus. Read the mail. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. Seems to be a voicemail. I mean, yeah. Because thou hast Right, okay. So I guess we need to find some kind of voice recorder. Yeah, we still got five shells. Hmm. Okay. I guess we've been everywhere here then. Uh, so I, I guess we're going to go back to the elevator and down. I mean, we've got to come back to this area anyway, so we just have to remember that those shotgun shells are there. Uh, let's go to the third floor. Isn't that where Morpheus is? Ah, oh, box. Almost out of coffee. Oh, dude. Wait for me to drink my coffee. Mmm, <clears throat> much better. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, you salty son of a fuck. Alright, let's go. Oh, God, there's one or two of them, isn't there? Yeah, there's one or two of them. Do we want to take these guys out? Oh, there's a storeroom there. Maybe the storeroom, actually. Uh, storeroom might be a save room. Oh, it is. There's a surprise. In that case, let's go take out all these zombies. Uh, sure. Oh, I love the fact that we can... ...do this. Oh, how the fuck did you see me, sir? I'm calling bullshit on that. Oh, that is some horse shit right there. Come on, guys. Step right up. Come on, come on. Oh, you dirty little sod. No, no, no. You know, in all fairness... Oh, we've we've got a lot of good ammo, to be honest. Uh oh, who's getting back up? No, this was not part of the deal, dude. It was not part of the deal. Okay, that was weird. The way the camera just did strange things. You know, the fact that we could move and shoot. Might have 
that I didn't know about, I might add, might actually have made hard a little bit more manageable. Dropped magnum bullets. Dude. Like, I appreciate that. I really do. Um, but those bullets apparently are really big. Way too big for me to carry around. Uh, oh man, I don't know. I mean, we can't not take the magnum bullets. Uh, but what does that leave us space-wise? None. We can't really have that. Maybe we should just use this grenade ammo. I don't feel the grenade ammo is that great. But having said that, I don't really feel the shotgun ammo is that great either, to be 100% honest with you. Two more shotgun shells to blast. Well, I mean, I guess... Uh, more grenade ammo. I don't know what to do. Surely we shouldn't be wasting all of this. Maybe two packs of magnum ammo is enough. Because you do need the handgun bullets. You really do. The shotgun definitely seems to be the weak link here. Absolutely it is. Which is really painful to say. But. Alright, let's take that. Uh, I mean, I'm... Did we save it? I can't remember. I'm guessing um, the handgun bullets or the grenade ammo that are on the floor in the next room aren't going to disappear. That is a guess. I have no idea. It would be nice if it didn't because uh, ammo management in this game sucks. Especially for someone like me. I'm a hoarder of... of oh, it does disappear. Well, I mean, you know, there's not really a lot we can do about that. Pod landing place, right. Keycard opened the lock. Yes, thank you. Uh, there's a lot of health in here. A lot of health in here. I mean, I guess we probably should have used up um, significantly more ammo. Yeah, we'll take the digital recorder. We should have used up a lot more uh, ammo on Pluto, I guess. You can see the deep sunless sea outside the window. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so where was that dude's voice? That was back here. Oh, we're not going to be able to... Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to grab those shotgun shells either but you know if you I guess if we can't take it we can't take it why only six ammo slots oh that's just it's such a restriction it's such a restriction man we can carry like if we could throw away some herbs like if you had um, X amount of space in total I could understand uh, a little bit better anyway like if you if your inventory was split like it usually is between all your items <clears throat> fair enough but it isn't uh right where's matey boy's voice there it is because thou hast obeyed my voice because thou hast obeyed my voice you recorded Morpheus's voice with your digital recorder. Excellent. Now, where was... Uh... 
Also, we can't change levels on the map, which is quite frustrating. Pretty sure that was on the top floor anyway. Oh, hunters are now here. You know what? You know fucking what, son? Oh, we got zombies as well. Oh. The Magnum drops a hunter in one hit. Okay, maybe I've massively undervalued the grenade launch uh the Magnum. Yeah. Okay. Get fucked. So, oh, they're dropping good ammo left and right. Ah. Thirteen shotgun shells or magnum bullets. I think we're going to pick the magnum bullets. Is there anything else in here to shoot? Yes, you. Get up. Come on, you bastard. Oh, you sausage. Fuck you. Oh. Oh. Uh. Hey, dude. Really? God, these weapons are so much better than... You know, the shotgun can go fuck a cock. The shotgun's just useless. It really is. I thought those weapons disappeared then. Um, right. So let's grab up the magnum bullets, because the magnum's just a beast. We do need... I guess we can top up. Can we throw those? We can't throw those away. Uh, right. Okay. Well, we'll. You cannot. You cannot carry any more. Well, I mean, I guess in that case, we might as well just fire six off, so we can pick up a whole new pack. Which, thinking about it, hasn't got us any further ahead. That's what we should have done. Ah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, should have reloaded that first. Oh, it's fine. Okay, so let's go back up to the first floor. Yeah, the, the shotgun is definitely the turkey in the game. For sure. It just sucks. Right, we can't do anything with that door yet. Mm, wait a minute. Clean room. That one. Because thou hast obeyed my voice. God, what a ponce. Like, how could they make the shotgun feel shit? Especially feel shit compared to the pistol. I mean, bruh, come on. And now we have another weapon. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I mean, we'll have it. The assault rifle. Oh, yeah, I personally think the assault rifle is shit as well. But, uh, right, okay. I mean, that's an extra 100 bullets, I suppose. I mean, the, the assault rifle's probably going to... Oh, fuck. Probably going to be good against zombies, I suppose. Uh, Dude. Oh, you're not looking too good, fella. Right, let's go get clean. <clears throat> Don't know what that's about. Wow, it's loud in here. 
Hmm. Oh, hey, sir. Come on. Don't be shy. I can assure you I won't be shy. Oh, I like the way they squelch. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember these things. I remember those things aren't worth fighting. Memory serves. Right, let's just check. Oh, hello. Dude. Oh, really? Fuck, right off of that bullshit. You naughty little sausage. Oh, you're tough. You're real toughy. You just used all my hanger bullets. You know, I'm not even salty about that, to be fair. Uh, right, herb. So where does that that just leads back round, doesn't it? I seriously, dude. No. I'm killing you out of principle now. Really, dude. Oh, are you like invincible? What do you think of that? Huh? 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Right, let's keep going. Can I open the door? Uh, that's fun. Okay, do any of these doors open? The main door opens. I mean, that's cool. <clears throat> oh! This looks like a fun room, doesn't it? Um. What's all that voodoo on the floor? Unknown uh, material. Sturdy shutter blocks your way. Well, that's no good. And there's machine gun bullets on the floor there. Oh, hey! Hi! Hello, you. Uh, you know what? I've had about enough of you and your fricking species of mutant bastards. Have some grenade ammo. Don't worry, we've got plenty. Now, from what I can remember with this thing, and if I could keep remembering that we can actually like move and shoot at the same time, that'd be fantastic. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Alright. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's powerful. Oh, he's done. He's done. He doesn't like my little friend. Desert Eagle. 0.50. Really, guys? Come on. Okay, um... Oh, we've got two empty slots. Okay, that's cool. Alright, let's load you up. Somewhere there was machine gun ammo. And you better believe your boy ain't leaving without that. Because, although it ain't fantastic, a hundred extra bullets is a hundred extra bullets, you know? Yep. I guess we've got to go through this way. Right, see you guys later. Oh, we got zombies. That's fine. Uh, well, we've got the handgun as well. It kind of feels like the handgun should be utterly, and I mean utterly, obsolete at this point. Uh, take the... Ch oh, dudes, I remember this. Doesn't this thing have unlimited ammo? I'm sure this thing has unlimited ammo. This anti-life form weapon accelerates and fires highly charged particles. Oh my god, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the hit of the whole fruit right there. Yeah, this thing has unlimited ammo. Do you know what that means? That means we really could have enjoyed these weapons a little bit more. 
but ah well. Appears to be some kind of instruction manual. Charged particle rifle user's manual. A charged particle rifle that was developed to cope with any biohazardous that was caused by T-virus. It is based on a particle acceleration device, which virus researchers use for gene manipulation. And decomposing molecules. By hitting accelerated particles, it induces physical destruction on the molecular level. This weapon can penetrate barriers of electrical discharge and give damage to the target. Currently, we have confirmed this on animal experiments only. However, we are confident that this weapon can damage TG charged beings. Remember that this weapon has limited usage before it requires because it requires a lot of power. Make sure you properly charge it before you decide to use it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Like, rip. Um, can I pick that up, please? A corpse. Seems to be holding something. The backyard key. Nice. You know, I like the fact that those keys actually do look like something that would have been uh, used in the previous Resident Evil games. Can we not go to the analyzer room? I guess not. Lock released. Good. Good. We really could have enjoyed these weapons so much more. Oh, God. Right, okay. Now, fortunately, once again, we find ourselves out of time. Which is a bit poopy, not gonna lie. I can't remember where the save room is. So, we're not gonna be able to use that. Although, I wouldn't mind the game throwing some extra enemies at us now. Now we've got this B. That can disintegrate flesh at an alarming rate. Where was... Where's the elevator? Ah, the storeroom was back there, so we can put down a hard save. Nice. Yeah, so we really didn't need to be half as stingy with ammo as we were. Especially with the Magnum. But then... Yeah... You didn't really need anything. Oh, yeah, the storeroom isn't actually a save room. You didn't really need to use anything else, you know? So, power supply room. I guess that's where we're going. Anyway, I must leave this game here. Because we're on 32 minutes now. So, thanks for watching, guys. When we come back, we're going to take our charged particle rifle for a bit of a walk. And see if we can see the flesh of uh, a certain strange TG virus infused tyrant that's walking around. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. <laughs>